Hello and welcome to this video tutorial, Call Sheets, How to Handle Missing Streets. Occasionally users will find when they enter information in a call sheet that the street they're looking for is not in the data. This video will discuss precisely how to add this missing information. There are several different causes to this problem. Each will be discussed more fully. One, the data may not be in the system the way you expect it. Two, the zip code or city data is in the system, but not the particular street. Three, the street is there, but the system tells you that the block is out of range. And four, the zip code isn't in your system. The first and easiest solution is the F1 search. Many times the street is listed in Service Desk, but not the way the customer gave you the information. For example, we have 4413 Highway 410. This is a major highway and should clearly show up in the database. By only entering a unique piece of information regarding the street and then hitting F1, we invoke a system-wide search for any street that contains 410. In this case, we get 410th Avenue, Southeast 410th Street, SR 410 Highway West, and State Route 410. So we can see that while the customer gave us the information Highway 410, we can see that the correct way to list the street is either by State Route or by SR. The second solution is the zip code insertion method. If we go to our dispatch map and hit the letter Z, we can see that the zip codes are displayed on our map. This works very well if the zip code covers a small geographical area. For example, we can see that 290 East Lighthouse Road is not within this territory. If we enter the zip code for Bothell, Service Desk will enter the grid coordinates for that area. Now when we job sale, Service Desk will offer to add this street name combination to our underlying street list where we'll be able to use it in the future. You can see from looking at your dispatch map that some zip codes are more concentrated than others. For example, this zip code 98014 out in Carnation clearly covers a much larger area than say these zip codes right here in Bellevue 98005. If the zip code insertion method is too broad based on the area covered by the zip code, you can simply go to your dispatch map and click with your left mouse button where you'd like the item to be displayed. Then return to the call sheet and do a control V to paste the grid coordinates into the call sheet. Again, Service Desk will offer to add this street to your street list when you do the job sale process. Solving the Type 3 scenario, the system telling you that the address is out of range, requires going back to Solution 1. First, make sure you've chosen the correct iteration of the street. Many streets run for miles and miles and change zip code or cardinal directions as they go. You need to ensure you've chosen the correct street from the street list. For example, we'll enter 500 South Ainsworth. Notice there are several listings for this street, each with a different zip code. We'll choose zip code 98408. The message we receive tells us that our address doesn't fit in the block range associated with the zip code. If you know the location is displayed correctly and that you've chosen the correct zip code, you may simply tell Service Desk to proceed and the wrong block notification will be ignored. In this case, the correct zip code should have been 98405. What if the zip code you're trying to insert isn't in your data? For example, the post office occasionally takes a large zip code area and splits it into two. To handle this, you can clone an existing zip code. Go to Control F5 and choose Clone a Zip. 
acknowledge the explanation, then enter the zip code that you would like to copy. Next, enter the zip code that you would like to add. If we go ahead and enter the zip code now, we can see the Service Desk has added it to our ZPC list and it'll display appropriately on the map. You may not, however, want the new clone zip code stacked directly under the old zip code. You may want it, say, over here a little further to correctly display the expanded territory. This and how to edit your streets and how to edit your cities will be discussed in another video. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching Call Sheets, How to Handle Missing Streets.